Hey guys, this is Eric from Beaver Dam. Uh, today I want to show you guys the fastest possible way to change out Floyd Rose strings, aka a floating tremolo. Um, Floyd Rose is just a brand, but it's been pretty much it's kind of taken over the term. You, you hear someone say Floyd Rose, they're talking about a floating tremolo, which is this piece here. Uh, I have a, the one I took off this guitar here. This is a floating tremolo. Um, I'm assuming you know what it is if you're watching this video on how to change strings on it. But it's going to be the same for any style, if it's a Schecter, if a Fender, you, you'll find them in all kinds of different Jacksons, you'll find them in all kinds of different guitars. Um, kind of made famous by like Van Halen and stuff like that. Anyways, I love them. I, yeah, I can't get away from Floyd Roses. I love the, the ability to bend way further than everyone else can in each direction. You can bend a string down. Up. Love it. Absolutely love it. I don't play with a whammy. Uh, it's kind of a modest mousy thing I, I go for. But uh, yeah, to each your own. So, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to shut this off right here. Um, so, uh, well actually right off the bat, show you what you guys need. Um, I would highly suggest getting yourself these little snark tuners. These things are awesome. It's, it's going to make life easy. One of these, you're going to need a Phillips screwdriver. The, um, I'm not sure what number this is, but you just need to make sure that it fits, well, two. One, you gotta take your, the plate off the back of your guitar. Um, I can only think of one guitar that's not gonna have the plate on there that's a Floyd Rose, and that's the new uh, PRS. Um, but pretty much everyone's gonna have a cover back here. You need to take the screws off of this. Once you get the screws off of this, there's, so these are gonna be Phillips, and then there's also gonna be Phillips. Um, I'll show you when we get there, but there's going to be Phillips behind here. That that that's how you change the the tension on your Floyd Rose. So you need the tuner, the Phillips. Uh, also, another piece that would come super in handy is this little guitar s string snipper, and it has a little winder for for uh, tightening the strings. Uh, super super useful. Also super useful for acoustics. It has the little um, uh, little ivory puller thing to yeah. Going blank. Anyways, yeah, super good tool to have. Um, to be part of my trick, uh, you'll need a lighter. Um, we'll get into it later that you might end up having to use something different. I've used a lighter forever. On both of these styles, it's worked really well for me. It, it always seems to be the space, but it might be different for you. When we get there, you'll, you'll see. Um, obviously gonna need your strings. Um, and then while we have everything apart, I don't do it string by string. Some guys do it string by string. I take it all apart, I swear it's faster, um, and so while you have it all apart, you might as well clean it, so uh, microfiber, uh, microfiber rag, uh, this is the rag that came with, with uh, a Telecaster of mine, I love this rag, little fender rag, and then use orange wood cleaner, um, yeah, pretty much on the whole guitar is what you want to use orange wood cleaner, it's safe, it's going to be fine for your neck, um, good for your neck, um, yeah. So let's go ahead and start into this. Uh, you're going to want to take the back off your guitar. Okay, got the back off my guitar. Now you can see inside of here, you're going to see two screws in here. Um, these are going to pull in and out, and this is going to change the tension on the springs here, moving your tremolo in and out. So what I want to do right off the bat is I'm going to take my lighter. And so this is where you might end up using something different, but this is, I use a lighter forever. It's worked really well for me, but you're gonna, the space right here, I use a block. A lot, a lot of guys know how to do this, but um, what, you're, what you're gonna do is mine fits, I've, I've got it to fit perfectly, a lighter fits right in there. And it's gonna be the distance between your tremolo down here and the actual hard, uh, the, the actual body of your guitar. And then, so what I'm gonna do is stick my lighter in there, and right now that's where I have my guitar set. And then another thing you want to pay attention to is the distance there is going to affect your distance here. And you, you, that, that just, I, I've always, my theory is always to get these, these your, your screws here that hold in the pin, that hold the string in, is, is get those pretty much level, maybe, maybe pull off a little bit. You, I'm sure someone can argue this, but I, I think it's a preference thing. The way I play my, my Floyd Rose is I grab it with my hand, I don't use a whammy bar. And so that's that's exactly where I want it. Um, it I could see someone wanting it closer or further away. Um, 
yeah, anyways, so slide your lighter in there just like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some tension off of this guy. What this is going to do is I'm going to pull these screws out. Pulling these screws out is going to get this lighter locked in there because I'm taking the tension back this way. I'm pulling the strings. I'm pushing the this out this way. It's going to loosen all the strings up. Or it's going to, yeah, it's going to, it's going to get tighter and tighter on your, on your lighter here. It's going to be, the strings are going to be pulling more than your, than your springs are here. So, and I just do this to get started because I want this lighter to stay in here. Once you're in, I'm going to go ahead and it, you, you want to be careful through this whole thing, especially the lighter, it, it'll pull in and out, is you go ahead and take your springs out. So just bam, you just pull up on this deal, take each spring out. Now you're completely free. Now the only thing that's holding your strings in right now is this lighter. So now what I'm going to do is start taking all the strings out on this side. So go ahead and on most guitars you're going to have your little Allen wrenches back in here. So I guess Allen wrenches was part of this. Um, but then take out all your locking nuts on the top. Okay. All my locking nuts are out, so now what I'm going to go ahead and do is just loosen all the strings up. And it, I, I don't do very much just to where they're not really tight anymore. And you might want to go from out, outside in so that it doesn't drastically change. Because if you pull one, one side to this side, you're gonna, the tension is going to be released from this side. You might, I, it shouldn't really matter, but maybe. Maybe go back and forth. So go ahead. I'm going to use this nifty little tool. Yeah, screw it. Just go ahead and just loosen them up a little bit. And you don't have to go all the way. I'm just getting the strings loose. But we're not dealing with something so tight. Okay, yeah, I'm all pretty loose. Then what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm just going to go ahead and cut all my strings right down here. Okay, on that last string, tremolo's free. You can go ahead, take your lighter out, tremolo's out, tremolo's gone. Okay, now just take the rest of your strings out. Okay, so now I got all my strings out. Guitar is fresh, bam. Um, now you're going to go ahead and... Now, now I got my, my uh, Floyd Rose here. Um, what you're going to want to do is take your Allen wrench, the same Allen wrench for, for most, most guitars I've ever seen, you're going to have two Allen wrenches. Um, one Allen wrench is going to be for your intonation adjustment. It's going to be a smaller head. Uh, everyone I've ever seen has been like this. It, it might be on some guitars, they, they might keep them all the same. I'm not a hundred percent on that, but you're going to have a big one and a little one. Your little one is pretty much primarily for your intonation change. Your big one is going to be for loosening your little um, your blocks in here. I can't remember the name of these. Um, what it is is you got little tiny, you got little tiny, little tiny blocks in here. And so what this does is this screw here puts pressure on this block and locks a string in. Can it get? Let's get, let's get focused in on this guy. Come on, focus in on there. Yeah. So this screw here puts pressure on this little brick here and it locks your string in. So what you're going to do is now just come and loosen all these. You don't have to take them all the way out. Just loosen these to where all these strings will pop out of here. All the strings. So I, I cut all my strings here. Just loosen all these out and just pull out. I Be careful. You don't want to lose these little... I might have one from, one from this guy that's loose. No, I don't. I don't have one that's loose. But those, they're, they're rectangular, they're not a perfect square as they might look from the top. They're, they're, they're oblong, one side's going to be longer, it's not, not a, a cube, a perfect cube. Um, and it has a little detent in it. Um, and the, the detent is the end of the screw. You know that screw will have a rounded head on it. <coughs> and it pushes into a detent. And so you need to make sure that you're, if you, if you ever lose it or anything, you'll see that detent. And that's what that detent's for, is that screw is going to come through and hit that, that little block and then press up against the string on this side. 
and so sometimes it'll, it, it can go up or down you might get it turned sideways you honestly might be able to get it to work if it's not in the detent but that's how it's designed that's that's how you want it how you want it um, so yeah just go ahead and loosen these all up pretty much a quarter turn a half a turn on all these should should be enough to get the string out and bam bam okay so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and clean clean the guitar up um, yeah and so this is this is why I like to do this is this is a great time to if you do it string by string you, you do, you're really not gonna get the time to clean it and I I like to keep a clean guitar um, so this will give you time to you know get in between all your pickups and here is always a dirty spot and then get, get get your fretboard clean and like I said use just use any kind of orange wood cleaner um, it's fine there's some guys argue about the rosewood versus it just use orange cleaner it's not gonna hurt anything um, at least I do um, you can argue with me but so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and give my guitar a clean be back in a second okay guys um, guitar is clean cleaned it up pretty good um, so now we're gonna start putting strings on here so I just work so we got our empty tremolo here everything's clean ready to go on here I use nine slinkies on everything love them um, so I'll just work string by string doesn't really matter go ahead and start with my biggest string so the way these work is you're gonna need to cut the little you need to cut your little deal off of here because, yeah, this doesn't fit in here. Um, and you could, some strings are different than other strings. These Floyd Rose, or the uh, Ernie Balls, the Slinkies, they're pretty much ready to go. You could do this the opposite way. You could just, you could clip this later and just stick this all in your Floyd. It doesn't matter which way you go. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and just cut this out and use this side for my tremolo you would have to cut it before you strung it through the top of your guitar so either way doesn't matter cut it off you obviously don't want to cut too much off of it um, but so then just go ahead and do that with every string and then just work it into its appropriate slot uh, I will say that you're gonna want to make sure that you're centered where this string comes through right where the string is is you need to make sure that you don't want to be too high on it and you don't want to be too low on it you want it to be right in the center I'm not saying the depth in and out I'm saying up and down the way I'm holding it right now up and down you want to keep it centered inside there um, yeah so just do them all in the center all the way down and then you know you want it, it needs to be all the way down inside there and then just tighten them work your way all the way down and then we'll we'll get it attached to the guitar afterwards Okay guys, all my strings are on there. I'm just hanging loose out one side. All the little deals are done on the end. Uh, we're in something I kind of forgot about before I changed them all out to tell you is you obviously aren't going to be able to get a torque specification on these. Um, at least not any tool I have. Um, but you don't want to go too hardcore on these. You, you could strip this out and then yeah and then you've just wasted some money because these uh it's not the cheapest thing to replace this i, I believe i paid 100 and 120 100, 120 bucks for the floyd original so anyways what you want to do is I, I i just you know lightly to where it stops you know when you're tightening it you just get it to where it stops and then give it like an an eighth of a turn like you know when i say stop it's you're barely putting pressure on it you feel it tension up if you're just you, you don't want it you definitely don't want to crank it it'll hold they will fall out um, if it's not tight enough it's kind of something you got to get you got to get used to um, but it doesn't take much pressure you don't want it you don't want to strip it out 
Um, so just yeah, get it tight, give it an eighth of a turn. You know, if you're if you're putting pressure into it, it's too much. Okay, so now we're gonna get it get her set back in. So grab this, and so yeah, you can see those two studs right here. This is what holds your Floyd Rose. So yeah, you're just gonna get it in there, and bam, you're on your studs. There's a little hook there at the top that slides into the stud. The stud itself has two two tapers going in like this, and so that that Floyd Rose will sit right in there. And then that's that's where everything adjusts is right on those studs right there. So just sit it in. Now now we're in. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put one spring back in, the center spring. Um, and th that actually brings up something else is you may notice how I had my spring set up. Is I, it was just something that was told to me by a really good guitar player is you're going to get more control out of it. Is on, on the screw side, on the screw side of this, I stack, I stack my springs. I go tight here. I go one, two, three. I put them all tight next to each other, not evenly spaced out like this. I put these to where they're going to sit like this. So these two, so I put the hook end all right next to each other. So I'm going to set the center one in. I'm going to take my center, center spring, set it on this side. I'm going to get my Floyd Rose inside there and then set one spring. And so this is going to put, this is going to hold. Now it's, it's, it's being held. Everything's being held now. I don't have to do anything. Bam, bam, bam. Everything's good. So now I can start the stringing process. What I'm going to do is just work two strings. Or I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start with just, just my low E string. And then so, so my rule of thumb usually is so you don't have an ugly, ugly headstock is and I'll get, pull it through where you want it. Pull about two inches, two inches out, about two inches away from the neck board, and that's where you're going to want to start your. That's where you're going to want to stop your string. So when you tighten it, you can get enough loops in there to hold the string. So I got my E string started. I'm going to go ahead and start tightening the string up. So this does take. Just just getting started here takes just a second. We just got to get our block back in. Once we get our block in, then you, you can start going. So this, this takes a little bit of finesse to do. But And so once you get your string started over here, just go ahead and put some tension on the string so that it doesn't, it doesn't cause... Try to show you over here. You want to keep... So get your two inches between your fretboard and your string. And then once you start this, you know, you're, you're going to have a hard time. Just keep tension pulled on it so that you get a nice wrap around. Bam. Okay. Yep. She's looking good. And then you can start letting off the pressure. It's going gonna, it's gonna to do its own thing. Okay, now you don't want to go too hardcore. I need to get my other, I'm going to get my other E string in so that. Okay, so right now I got one spring in the back holding the tremolo in and I've got my two E strings started, top and bottom, just so I can evenly space the tension out so it's not, it's not pulling one way or pulling the other way. So I'm just going to just pull a little bit of tension in on them. And so the more tension I get on these strings, the more I tighten them up, the more it's going to, it hasn't started pulling yet, but you're going to start pulling this bridge away. And I, I kind of want to do that right off the bat because I need to get my, I need to get my block in. If that one spring, I might have to put another string in so that I can get more tension on this to pull this away so that I can get my block inside of here. So that's another thing too, I, I don't know if I covered it earlier, but you, you don't have to use a lighter. If that space is different, you can use a book. You can use a, a book may be bad because it might give, you just want something hard in there that's gonna keep a very specific 
space inside there. I've found a lighter and I've stuck with the lighter since day one. Just, just stick lighter in there and then, okay, bam, bam, bam. So I still don't think I have enough space to get, yeah, it's not tight enough to get a lighter in. Okay, so I've just, I just got there. I got my two E strings in. I got my lighter set in place as a block to hold. So now this tremolo is not gonna pull out anymore. I'm blocked in. So now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just do all my strings up. Doesn't matter which top to bottom, doesn't matter. Nothing's moving now. The, I can put as much pressure pulling the tremolo this way and nothing, the tremolo is not gonna move now. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and string everything up and I'm gonna string it up as if it was done, as if the guitar was done. Just go ahead and string it, go ahead and tune it, and then what, what I'm, I'm gonna just beat this, okay, well, I'll, I'll, I'll get to that point. Um, just go ahead and set all your strings up, and then we'll go from there. Okay, I got all the strings on. Uh, I did my initial tuning, so it's tuned up right now. But I mean, I just put the strings on. I haven't even cut any of the deals. You can cut these as you go. It doesn't matter. I, um, actually, most of the time I cut them as I go just to get them out of the way. But go ahead and cut these guys all out. Boom, boom, boom. On these nines, a little a little trick. I, sometimes I, I don't do it, but uh, I've, I've, I've definitely met some guys that they'll tie these real thin strings, the bottom strings, so that, because you actually can have that string slip in there and, and pull out. Um, so either you want to get it really wrapped around there at least three times, which 99% of the time is going to be fine, but I have met guys that'll wrap their string right there and tie it, do a little tie right there. But usually what I do is I just stick my string through, wrap it once, and either go on top or on bottom. If the string's sticking out of that tuning peg, top or bottom, as I'm tightening, I'll do one on top, and as that does a 360, then I'll wrap and do one on bottom. And that seems, seems to lock it in there, but they can slide. I, I find it pretty rare. Uh, I think I've only had that happen to me once. Okay, so everything's cut. So where we're at right now is we're blocked. I just have one spring in. The spring, the spring doesn't even do anything. I could take this back out now. We're, we'll just leave it in. I only put this spring in to help me get started. Uh, sometimes, what will happen is when you do this process, your 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 tremolo will, will be sitting on those studs wrong. Um, it, it happens once in a while. So you just need to make sure that it's sitting on those studs right in the groove. There's a groove on that stud. Your tremolo needs to be in there. Sometimes you can you can accidentally have it drop drop low and it, and it, what will happen is you'll be screwing with it and the whole thing will pop into place and you'll you'll have, you'll screw yourself you won't you won't be in tune anymore so anyways that's where we're at i did my initial tuning everything's tuned now what you want to know about strings um is you know i'm not saying you don't know this but what you want to know about strings is that they stretch and it, it takes a little bit they'll stretch for a while um so you know, I, I use I use Ernie balls on uh, slinkies on everything. Um, I was taught, you know, um, you lose tone quick on strings. I change my strings a lot. About every about every ten hours of playtime, maybe even less than that, eight hours of playtime, I change my strings over. I just get the cheap slinky strings. I think I think slinkies have the best tone. Um, and yeah, as soon as there is any noticeable tone difference, which sometimes is hard because it's so gradual, but I, my 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 uh, rule of thumb is is that I, if I run my my finger up, you know, the higher strings, and I feel the slightest bump, even if they're dirty, I would rather spend nine dollars and just you know, it's not that expensive. Um, I mean, sorry if 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 you're if you're hurting. Uh, you can clean the strings. I, I would suggest if you can afford it, is just change your strings out a lot. It's not that bad. Go with the Ernie balls. They're cheap. Um, you'll get really good tone out of the early, ball, early balls for about four to five hours of playtime. They're really good. I think the best. Um, but to each their own. So, anyways, um, what you're going to want to do now is you, you really want to beat the strings up and, and don't go crazy, but don't be afraid to to hurt these. You know, to really give it. And so it's locked. All the pressure I put on a string now 
it isn't going to change the tremolo. So I did my initial tuning. What I'm going to do is, and it really doesn't matter, you don't have to, I just did. And it sounds like shit. It, they're, they're, they need to be stretched out. So now I go through and I just go string by string and start at the bottom and work my way up and I just just stretch it. And you'll feel the first one you do, you'll really feel the stretch. Like it, it gives, it gives a lot. This one actually feels like something's, oh, oh, uh, right up here on my tuning peg, it, it pulled some of the slack out. But yeah, see, some of the slack will come out. You can, you know, some, that's where you'll get some slack and just, you gotta get all these out. You gotta get all these, all this tight to where there's one, you know, you don't got a, a, a bubble in there, or the string not, not being really tight around that tuning peg. So yeah, this is what this is all for. So initially you need to get this set. So I just screwed up my E there. Let's, you know, get her close. So yeah, then just work, work up and down and you really rattle that string. I, you know, grabbing the string and you know, you, you're not yanking it, but you know, you can put a decent amount of pressure on this thing. And just, I work each string all the way up and down. Bam, 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 bam. I'll do that back and forth. So this, this does take a, a minute. But it's a very necessary part of doing this, is you need to get your strings broken in and you need them set before we move on. They need to be done. So, so spend about 10 minutes here of stretching your strings out. Do that on every one of these strings. And then, then I'll play for, you know, usually then I'll, I'll throw in a little practice right there just, just to make sure that my strings are set. So I'll, you know, stretch them out, then run, run scales or whatever, and, you know, just try to evenly go through, you know, each string, different parts, get them stretched out. If, you know, do your stretches, just start playing, just start, just start beating on the strings, get them, get them set. Uh, spend about 10 minutes to that. Um, and then, then we can move on. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll be back and then we'll, we'll finish her up. Okay guys, so yeah, I've gone through a whole uh, 10, 10 minutes of playing. Uh, yeah, stretching the strings out like this, went up and down, just did scales up and down. Um, played, yeah, just thrashed around the strings. You just want to get to a point to where you can thrash around for a minute, a minute or two, go back to your tuner, and if you're right on, then, then we're ready to proceed. But yeah, you need to just make sure that when you run through that that it's it's it stays in tune and then something something right there is during this process you're gonna want it you're gonna want to even out all these because once you know once we set everything you're done tuning from up here you tune you tune down here on a Floyd Rose and then so you just want to get these even in and out you don't want them you know screwed all the way out to where to where you could only screw in from that point or you don't want it screwed all the way in just get it right in the middle and it doesn't matter you just do it in this process as long as you're and you know it, 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 even if you screw this up after you're done just just take your your locking nuts up here loosen them up and then you can start tuning with this and just get back in but you don't want to go crazy or you'll screw the whole the whole pooch because once we lock this in it, it, it'll stay in tune, but you, you, you don't want to go screwing with one thing or the other. I mean, you can do the slight adjustments and you'll get it back in. But once you get it set, it should stay. It, it will stay. It, 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 once I get mine set, I'm, I'm always good. Um, so yeah, just get her, get her in tune. Get all these set, you know, medium depth. so we're good I'm good here so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is go ahead and put my go ahead and put my locking nuts back in boom 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 just do a little tighten up on this and the same with these is just you know snug them up and then a little eighth turn and bam good to go okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these back in, put these these back in just like just like they were. And like I said, I like to do this, and then I'll put this one and this one and go from the inside on the top and then the outsides on the bottom. So just and sometimes you can be a little bit of a pain in the ass to get in.
And so I hook, I hook my bottom side in, get that to slide in that little hole, and then hook it up, deal. Bam, you'll see guys sometimes that run these parallel like this. And if you really stop and, and look at it sometimes, when, when you get good at this, you'll kind of understand this, you know, to me it makes sense when I look at it. This is going to keep it the most even, even from, from the tremolo moving side to side. It, it, it just, it seems right to me. Um, but that's, that's how I was taught to do it. That's how I do it. You, you could do this. I've seen a lot of guys that just all, they just run vertical, the two outsides and the center there. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're set. Everything's good to go. But, but my block's still in there because I loosened up. I loosened these screws so the tension's going to drop down. But the guitar's in tune right now. I'm locked up where I want to be. It's exactly where I want to be. So what I'm going to do is I take my guitar and put it upside down. Put it like this. And I'm just going to start backing these screws out. I'm just going to start backing these screws out. And as soon as this lighter, this lighter will fall right where you want it to be, because that's exactly where we want a tremolo to be, is as soon as the tension gets right, that lighter is going to fall out. And then, and then you might need to, then, then we'll go back to a tuner and tune it up. But that's, that's going to be the money spot. And then we're set and then we're good to go. So we're going to tighten her up. And usually I just do, you know, I, I've found sometimes this piece will be a little, little cockeyed. I've seen on a few guitars. And so once I get an, a guitar where I like it and, it, and it's, and, and you, your, your ace, once you drop this out, if your A string or your low E versus your high E, one, one ends up being, being a little sharp or one ends up being a little flat, is sometimes you have to adjust one out a little bit more and, and turn this, you know, like this or like this just just slightly and usually once you find that sweet spot I just keep it there and then whenever I do adjustments here I just do if I do a half turn on this side I just move to the other screw and do a half turn I just I just move like that half turns at a time up and down and you usually just keep that same angle um, you know it's it's mine's relatively flat I'm talking a sixteenth of an inch one side just seems to be down um, but yeah so we'll go ahead and, and you want to make sure when you're doing I mean, you might be a little off when we get there. See, my lighter is just about to fall out. Bam, she just fell out. I'm gonna be pretty damn close. And then so this, just get your tuner back on and you'll see where you're at. So I am, I'm at F, so I need to drop out a little bit. And so let's see, that's on my low E. So let's see where I'm at, my high E. My high E is really close. My high E is just a tad bit sharp. So I just need to drop the, the appropriate screw there. So if my low E was at an F and I need to drop down to an E, just take and, and back this screw out a little bit and it's gonna change the tuning on the strings. So then just I'm just gonna back this out just a hair. And let's see where we're at. Okay, I'm still a little sharp in my E, so yeah, I'm just gonna back that that top screw up is gonna be affecting the top half of the strings, and that bottom bolt screw is gonna be affecting the, the bottom half of the strings. And so you're just kind of playing, screwing those screws in, and it's gonna change, it's gonna in or out but just start working with this and this is honestly how I tune most of the time when I'm playing and I have you know all my strings are perfect and then let's say my G string is just slightly sharp then then use your micro tuners but if you get on your guitar and and your top three strings are all sharp that that usually just go ahead and go to your back and just tighten it up a little bit I keep a screwdriver in my case everywhere I go and I d usually don't have to do it very much but you know a temperature change or, or something screws with it I, I pretty much tune with this and it, it seems to work real well for me so let's see where we're at still a little sharp so I'm gonna go ahead and loosen out my top screw see where we're at with our high E and we're I'm almost there 
pretty money. Just a little bit more. So I'm pretty much at the point where I'm pretty close. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to to tune in a little bit with my you know the little micro adjustments over here on the bridge just to get set in because I think I think I'm good. And uh yeah. So we're golden. So I've locked it back up. This is set exactly where I want it. Now all we do is throw our cover back on. Um, what I do is, like I said, if I do, I find doing adjustments once in a while. So honestly, with this deal, the way I keep my guitar is I just keep my plate and two screws just in diagonal corners, and I'll just run two screws. And then if I need to do something on a fly, I just take one screw out. I just slide this plate down. I'll just take one screw out, slide this plate down, stick my screwdriver in there, do a quarter turn if it's that bad. Usually it's not. Usually you can. I mean, usually I'm good. Usually I'm money. Um, you know, usually this guitar stays just in, as in tune as you know my Telecaster does. That's that's just a straight up Telecaster. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope I helped you a little bit. Um, uh, and you know, you know, I tried to fit a little bit of information here. You really can streamline this. You can do this in about 20, 25 minutes. You can have this done. Um, and I, I think this is the way to do it. I don't like doing it string by string. I mean, to each your own, you can definitely do it. And then you don't have to block it. But I like the, the opportunity to be able to clean my guitar as I go through it. Um, yeah, but thank you guys very much. Uh, I'd appreciate subscribe to the channel. Um, yeah, and check out our music videos where I'm Eric from Beaver Dam. Um, hope you guys have a good one. Thanks.